Okay, you guys, these pens, I am, I think, unnaturally excited for these. And why? I, I don't know. I couldn't tell you, but I really, really, really am. Hi, everybody. Today, I am taking a look at the Zebra Click Art Marker Pens. These pens are an interesting one. They're a felt-tipped pen that is a clicker and meant to not dry out. Like, that's one of their big selling points is that they're not going to dry out. So I wanted to look at these because you guys know I am a felt tip pen ho. I'm a ho for the felt tip and other tips. <laughs> there are 36 available colors. Uh, you can get them in these 12 packs or you can order them by the 36 pack. They are not inexpensive. I think I paid about $48 on Amazon for this 36 pack. And the 12 packs are listed on the Zebra website at $23. So they're, they're not inexpensive, but Zebra has always been a really quality brand for pens for me. And they've always been a little bit on the more expensive side for pens. So that's not unexpected. But just letting you know up front, these are a pricey set of pens. So they come in three 12 pack sets, the standard colors, which is like the standard rainbow of colors, the light colors and the dark colors. I definitely have a favorite of the three packs, which you'll find out as we go through these. But before I go into the color swatches, I will talk about the pens themselves. On top of that, I am going to show you which of these have a comparable mild liner. Now, unlike the Sharpie Creative Markers review I just did, I'm not showing you the mild liners because these are highlighters. These are definitely not highlighters. I feel like the Papermate Flare or maybe the Le Pens are the most comparable in terms of color range and being a felt tip pen, even though the tips are different. So if you're interested in a video like that, please let me know in the comments below. The reason I'm comparing these to the mild liners is because they're both zebra, and so it would be nice to know whether or not there are some comparable colors, both if you like the colors of the mild liners and if you wanna use these in tandem with each other. So I will show that after I do the swatches. But for now, let's just take a look at the pen itself. So they come in these plastic containers. There was like a little insert that kept them all perfectly lined up, but I already got rid of that because I did go through and take a look at these already. I'm not gonna lie, as soon as I got them, I was like, fuck, I wanna play with these pens. This is the actual pen. Uh, it says Zebra Click Art. And the color identification, I can't read the language it's printed in, but the color of the like tip here and the cap is the color of the, the pen. Now this is a little thing to keep it from rolling. It's not one of those clips that you can use to like put them on paper. It is just there to keep them from rolling off your desk. There's also this little hole. If the pen is not clicked, it shows up black. And then if you click it, it shows up red, which is just another alert that your pens are clicked. Now, like I said, it's just a click pen. They actually feel pretty nice, pretty, pretty substantial. They're not super heavy. They are a shiny plastic pen. However, they it's a very substantial click. Whoops and it just, it feels nice in your hand. The clicker mechanism keeps it capped down here, so it doesn't, and when you first get the pens, there's a little rubber stopper that keeps the whole pen sealed up until you get it. According to the Zebra website, the ink is water-based. The ink never dries out. They are a 0.6 millimeter fine point. I like the click. Some people hate clicks on pens. I. It's one of the things I like about gel pens. I much prefer click pens to capped pens, mostly because I tend to like be goofy and not caps everywhere. So having a clicker style felt tip pen to me is like the best of both worlds. It's a felt tip pen, which I love, but it's got the clicker. So it is not like a metal encased tip. It is a fine, like tapered felt tip. I don't know how long it will stay like this. Like this tip reminds me of the bullet tips in like the Tombow, markers, right? That same kind of shape. I love though how they write. Like it's like the perfect amount of fine liner for me. To compare it to my current favorite fine liner pen, which is the Pilot fine liner. Slightly, slightly more bold, but it's got that same feel when you write with it. And I just, I love it how they will last long term for somebody who is heavy handed. I'm not sure, but I plan to use the shit out of these. So I could update them in a couple of months to see how well the tips hold up for somebody who's heavy handed. There is nothing on the website about this being a quick drying pen, but they smear pretty quickly. So if you're a lefty, these may not be the best pens for you. Although I found with most fine liners, 
lefties are kind of shit out of luck because fine liners tend to be a little bit more inky. And then for bleedability, I'm gonna take my Lois charm, which you guys all know. Somebody even made the comment on my last pen review that the Lois charm is like the bleediest of bleedy, you know, situations. But you know what? We're gonna do it anyway. So I'm going to take this black and I am going to see how it bleeds. Oh yeah. On the Lois term, it goes really heavily. Just a, a heads up for that. Now the other thing I wanna do is now that this is dry, I want to run a highlighter over it and see whether or not it smears. There is no smearing whatsoever with the highlighter, which is awesome, especially if you wanna use these with the mild liners. Now let's do some color swatches by set. What happens when I mix up my colors. <laughs> yeah, Instagram perfect swatch page. Here are the colors in the three sets. Of the three sets, my absolute favorite is the dark set. And I will tell you right now, the reason why is the blue black, the green black, the viridian, the red brown, the red orange, all of like the really dark, rich colors in this are just colors I love. Like if I was gonna not use black, I would use blue black or green black in my planner because they are just sexy. But I like all three of them. Of all of the colors, there's only a couple of them that are not necessarily usable for like writing because they'll be too pale. Like the pale pink is one of them. The light green is one of them, maybe the aqua blue. But overall, even the light colors are saturated enough where you're gonna be able to see them. You know, for a long time, the Erin Condren dual tip markers have been one of my favorite felt tipped pens to use just for the fun of it, for making notes, whatever the case may be. But you guys know I'm I'm replacing Erin Condren products as I use them up, and I feel like these pens are going to take the pride of place in my desk where those pens used to be because I just love this color selection so very much. I feel like there is a nice spread of all of the different colors here. I think the only color I'm really missing out of all of them that I would really like is like an olive green. That would be really nice. And olive green would have gone really well in this set, I feel like. But I like both the usability of these colors and the spread of them. Going through my mild liners to find colors that match, there's 25 mild liners and I have 16 colors that go really well with them. So I'm gonna show you what those are so that you can kind of see if you really like the mild liner colors or if you wanna use them in terms of color coding, having a highlighter and a fine liner in the similar colors would be real helpful for you. So if your favorite color is missing, then that's something that you'd wanna know about. Starting with the standard set, I have five colors that are close matches. The gray fine liner matches the gray mild liner. Light green matches the green mild liner. Light green's a little bit paler, but it's the same basic tone. The cyan mild liner matches is the light blue. The lemon yellow mild liner matches the yellow and the apricot mild liner matches the orange. Sorry if you hear noise in the background. My cats are super active today. If you had asked me which set would have the most mild liner matches, I would have not said the dark. I would have probably said the light, but nope, it's the dark. There are six matches with the dark. 
starting with Summer Green, which matches Blue Green. This is one of my favorite mild liner colors, and I love this fine liner. I could color coordinate everything with those two colors. Red Orange matches Marigold. Magenta, fun fact, matches Magenta. Dark Brown matches the Brown Mild Liner. Now in a fun twist of fate, the Smoke Blue Mild Liner does not match the Smoky Blue. It matches the Turquoise Blue. And finally, the Dark Blue Mild Liner matches the Blue Gray. And then for the lights, we have five matches. Funny thing, this is the Marigold Mild Liner, but this is the Marigold Zebra Click. So they're not, the colors are not Com comparable necessarily with names. The Marigold Click Art matches the Gold Mild Liner. The Coral Pink Mild Liner matches the Salmon Pink. The Blue Mild Liner matches the Aqua Blue Click Art. The Blue Green matches the Leaf Green. And the Baby Red Click Art matches the Red Mild Liner. So this gives you an idea in terms of color coding if you have the Mild Liners, if you might want these pens. If I was gonna tell you to buy one based on what I love, it would be the Darks. I think these colors are fucking gorgeous, but you need to look at what you've got and how you like them and whether or not they are colors that you would use or if they already match something that's in your collection. Like I said, I can totally do another video comparing these to other fine liners if you would like. But I'm gonna tell you right now, the biggest reason that these are going to become the A number one color fine liner in my collection, the ones that moved to Pride of Place. Like, I actually have a drawer in my main desk that holds the colorful fine liners I use on a regular basis. I don't keep them on my desk because I only keep black pens on my desk, but I keep them in a drawer that's easily accessible, and all of the rest of the fine liners have their own drawers in my storage behind me so I can access them if I use them. Currently, that is taken up with the Erin Condren dual tip markers and the Tombow Twin Tones. But these pens are going to boot some of those out. There are three reasons for that. The first reason is I love writing with them. I like the tip size. I like how comfortable they are. And I just think they're really awesome to write with. And the tip size is perfect for me. Secondly, the color range is gorgeous. And thirdly, the click. The clicker is just less of a pain in the ass than the tips, especially with some of those fine liners where the tips are super tiny and they fall off. I'm thinking of like the Tombow Twin Tones or caps that are really big like the Le Pen but they're still, the pens themselves are really tiny. These are just like, they, they meet the combination of comfortable writing, great colors, and a tip size that I really like. So yeah, I love these. However, if you already have a bunch of colorful fine liners, don't go spending money just because you want some new pens. Think about whether or not you're actually gonna really use them and how many pens you have sitting in your pen graveyard. I ordered these because I wanted to review them, but I am not in good conscience telling you to go and spend more money, especially right now with the economy the way that it is unless you think you're actually gonna put them to good use. Think about what you're spending money on. That's my disclaimer, and there will be some more consumerism videos coming up as well. In the meantime, please let me know about consumerism videos or other pen videos you'd like to see in the comments below. Let me know what you think about these pens, all the things. Make sure to subscribe on your way out the door, and my dudes, stay safe, wash your hands, take care of yourself, and until next time, peace out.